friends welcome back and in this case study analysis i am going to explain about a smart transportation system implementation so what is that and how are we going to use it it's very simple and straightforward so it is it is very evident that there are no much mechanisms that are available towards monitoring quality of the vegetables during transport i have already uploaded this video as a innovative project a video in my innovative projects playlist but i didn't give you enough explanation as in why did we do it so this is the time to uh, get it done and i'm going to show you why how we did it so we understand that um, at source when vegetables are collected there is a cooling system available or it is all fresh so it doesn't require much of the cooling at destination when you go to a um, say supermarket or the seller they have cooling systems again available so it's all cooled properly there and it's maintained properly there but when you come in between if you see now the picture that is going to appear during the transport from the source to the destination we do not have proper cooling mechanism here so this results in 92000 crore rupees loss in india this is through the uh, document that has been recorded by august 11 2016 it's by financial express so it's it's pretty clear that we have losses and there are other facts that are connected to this loss when you do not have vegetables when you do not have proper uh, materials available to eat proper food available to eat it results in hunger so india has got a lot of hunger and overall world factor if you see 14.5% of our overall population is undernourished which means that you are feeding them food which is not good you are feeding them vegetables which is not good why it is not good because it is not monitored for its quality if it is not good we should drop it so one out of four children is malnourished which is actually shocking 3000 children in india die every day from poor diet and related illness i am shocked to see this so everywhere there is a problem everywhere there is a, um, a problem with respect to quality of the vegetables the quality of the perishables that are transported so we found that iot is going to help us out in determining the quality of this perishables while at transport also i have got the vegetables ready at the source i am going to send it to the destination through a lorry or through a transportation vehicle but in that transportation vehicle i use iot we use iot to monitor the quality of the perishables that you transport you can monitor the quality of any particular vegetable but you need to understand what are the parameters that you need to monitor the quality here i have taken the temperature the humidity and the odor all together and we have sensors available for it we have used the sensors and that sensors will pick the data will pick the temperature the humidity and the odor of the vegetables that are available inside with that we understand that with that we have a threshold once it is crossed we understand that the vegetables are about to be spoiled okay what next okay i am transporting vegetable from city a to city d in between city b and c are there so i need to first deliver my vegetables to b so i'll find out which of the vegetable boxes will be spoiled faster which are vulnerable to get spoiled faster and i'll deliver it in the closest city so that it will be delivered before it gets spoiled and it can be consumed before it is getting spoiled and i'll now rate my boxes vegetable boxes as quality a quality b quality c quality c being the worst quality b being neutral quality a being the best which can travel longer and all these are done through iot and cloud we have sensors the data is picked up the data is put up into the cloud the data is analyzed and we understand that this box is okay this vegetable box is not good we send an alert to the app and the driver of the particular vehicle can deliver this content into the appropriate places this is our innovation and we have implemented it with a very simple setup so we have got the sensors available for temperature humidity and odor the data is now taken and we have node mcu as usual my favorite uh, microcontroller unit and esp2866 so esp is there so which will help me in uh, trans which will, which will help me with the wifi abilities also so i get this data i now transport it to our adafruit cloud there i do all my analysis and based on the analysis whatever we do we uh, get an idea that this box can be delivered at this particular place this box has got this quality everything but the end user who is connected with my app in android i mean we have we are creating an android app we have created an android app that app needs internet so that's very important that's the only part that we need to make sure that the internet connectivity is appropriate and we are coming up with solutions which will not depend on internet also which will be released shortly so this is our overall architecture that we have done and i have already demonstrated this in my previous uh, video somewhere in my collections but again for the benefit of the uh, viewers not to go and see it again 
by searching for it i display it again here with a very clear description i hope you will definitely like it and you can ask me any questions with respect to this product in my chat box thank you here you can see that i have got the complete system set up along with the vegetables we are going to monitor the quality of the vegetables real time here we have certain vegetables available out of which we have purposefully kept some vegetables which are rotten this is rotten this is rotten this is semi rotten now we have got sensors here this sensor will be capable of measuring the temperature as well as humidity and this sensor will get the odor so once the data is obtained it will be transferred to the microcontroller which is here my pencil is marking you that now this microcontroller will collect all the data and it will be ported onto the cloud so once the data is onto the cloud you can see that the data is getting recorded consistently real time so once the data is recorded in the cloud the analytics will be made and the decision can be arrived as in which box has to be delivered at which place now i am opening my app which we have designed and you can say that after some point in time you will get the grade for each box here the first box which we have has got the grade c which means that it is having poor quality which means that it has to be delivered at the earliest now where to deliver it will be the point now we need to address click address and it will immediately take you through the map and here if you start navigating it will also give you the complete path for the driver to assist him towards delivering it properly all this happened real time particularly the decision making and the map update happens definitely in real time which will help the driver to make the decisions immediately to deliver the boxes thank you here you can see that i have got the complete system friends so from this demo you understood that it's all possible with iot cloud data analytics and sensors so anything and everything can be done with iot is the point now it's booming so utilize the opportunity i'll come back with one more video and one more demo for you guys to understand the power of iot in my next session thank you very much for following the channel i'll get back to you with more uh, contents shortly thank you very much